final stage, folks. So I've got. Whenever you throw a guy and he survives a throw, he'll like pound on the ground and he'll get faster. He gets like a little rage power up or something. Like that. Also do more damage. But it doesn't matter. Just start them again. What's that knife? Could not kick our friends from earlier. Because if you try to kick them, they will catch your feet like you were able to catch their fists. And they will counter it. And they will actually take a bit of damage, so be careful. Jump from this one to that one and have invisible floors, spike floors to dodge and all that stuff. They you know, took all that out of there. So pretty much the only platforming we had to do in this so far was the, uh, the previous stage where we had the bridge there, had to jump over a couple pieces. That wasn't too bad.
And you also, you can't start the dragon meter. Ah. Oh. <laughs> you can't start powering up your dragon meter in the middle of the jump. You have to be kind of stable on the ground, not holding a weapon.
Limited Edition. See him there in gray. Although oh, his uh, to Billy's blue outfit, Jimmy's more of a pinkish than a reddish, oddly enough. So I think oh, the only real difference between Billy and Jimmy is that uh, Jimmy, instead of doing the uppercut when he does a series of punches, he does like this weird back knuckle to finish off the punch combo. Pretty sure it does the same thing, but it's just different than Billy's. Hear the music in the background, got the old school double dragon thing. Now, I've never noticed. I'm not even sure if. Yeah, those spikes don't actually do damage. They're kind of there for decoration. So I'm getting a little punch contest with these guys and you keep blocking. You might want to move a little bit and kind of reposition yourself on the drop. Because what will usually happen is you keep sitting there and they keep blocking your punches, they will eventually find the opening and they're going to put the hurt on you. Also, don't be, don't be afraid to uh, maybe do some duck and move. Type stuff, you know, stick and move, I guess. Where you punch them a few times, you step away, kind of bob and weave, gorilla tactics on them. So, not that bad, they didn't get it too times. There's Blanca. Thank you. 
I'm saving them for all these. I am saving them for him. Final boss. Just go ahead and do whatever knives you're able to hold on to and do it. And now, get him up. I'm kind of surprised it didn't go in the route of the old Double Dragon games where uh, the final boss has like some outrageous like shadow abilities or has a gun. Which is kind of cheating and a beat him up. And you don't want to be able to receive any of those guys' comments. You don't have to be nasty. playthrough of Super Double Dragon from the uh, SNES days. So I want to show you that one. Uh, you can expect to see more content coming from um, the Maki and Kaze family. Uh, we'll be sending stuff out there, start putting more things on our YouTube page. Also keep an eye on our Twitch streams, we'll uh, be streaming games out there. we we'll keep an eye on that on our Facebook page. That's facebook.com slash Maki This is uh, Jolly Yellow from Move Maki Thank you folks, take it easy. You have a good one.